Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about UFC Contender Series week number four. Now, this is a very, very good week of fights and we're going to talk about it. And uh, I'm pretty excited for this week, to be honest. Pretty good uh, card. And I also think it's a little bit better matched up uh, until you do research. We'll get there. First, we have a Qu a Qu a Quillen Salkild, uh, six and one minus two hundred favorite, twenty four years old, six foot tall. Fighting Gage Young, who's eight and one, a G Money plus one sixty five, uh, five nine, so a couple inches in height for Quinlan. Which, if you look at Gage Young, the 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 places that I do like him, a second, yeah, the places I do like him is like. He has good striking. If you look at it, he like I said, he's eight and one, three wins in a row. He's only 24 years old, which is crazy. Six finishes, he has four first round finishes, as you see right here. The problem I have with him, if you look here, he hasn't fought anybody great. And the loss that he has here against Bobby Lee in the third round, 12 and seven, experienced guy, sure, but not great. You know, had a very good amateur career, so, and he was finished by Ashton Kirby. That was back in 2020. Since then, has not been finished by punches. Only been finished, like I said, with the arm bar. But like his wins aren't great. They're they're just they're just not great. You know, he's the better striker, moves better, but has fought old fighters, not great records. And like I said, he's won and all a kickboxing fight, round two TKO win. And yeah, like I said, he lost. He was finished. That one loss is that arm bar round three. So. You know, it's a little interesting in that aspect because he's he has good striking, he moves good, defense wise is okay, but he's he's fighting Quinlan, who is six and one, also twenty four years old, twenty five in December, six wins in a row, lost his uh, MMA debut, was did have also another uh, extensive amateur background, eight and three as an amateur, lost his first one rear naked choke. And then he's kind of gone on a tear, and he's to me, he's fought better competition. One and one and no, sure, not great. Three and one, seven and one, three and one, four and one. But he only had, you know, five fights when he fought someone who went four. So it's just those fighters. And he has two wins over Don Marfan. So if you guys don't know, he is also five and he's five and two. Street Buddha, three finishes, has been finished twice in his career. This is another guy to look out for it, as long as he keeps progressing, you know. So, this matchup, like I said, Gage Young moves better. He is the better striker, 100%. I am a little worried with Sal Kild, his defense, his striking defense. But I just think he has the better uh, ground game as it is. Six wins in a row, five finishes, three first-round finishes, two wins against Dom Marfan. Like I said, two rear naked chokes both times. He was able to finish that guy. And again, like I said, if, if, if you know, you know how good Don Marfan is. And he's not he's not a world leader, nothing like that. But still, uh, I like Quinlan. I think he gets a finish, a, uh, a grappling submission is what I think. If Gage Young wins, it's because he caught him on the feet. But I like Qu uh, Quinlan a lot in this matchup. Next we have, ooh, let's try this name. Yo, Yonezi Dubin versus Shannon Clark. Now, again, this is another fun, fun matchup. Uh, Dubin, 4-0, 28 years old, 5-4. She has one grappling win, armbar, 4-0 against fighters with zero wins. You look at it, it's, I, I, I just don't care that you have four wins and your opponents have no wins. Yes, she had a three-fight amateur career, Three and three year total of those people. So it just she hasn't fought anybody that has any wins. None of them. Torres, O one and one. Kasana Kasana, O and three. Uh Velasquez, O and four. Uh Garcia, O and one. Not great at all just not good Shannon Clark 5-0 I like Shannon Clark a lot 
five and zero, thirty two, five six with a sixty two and a half inch reach. Uh, yeah, her opponent's record is twelve and three, five and zero, four round finishes, one sub, three TKO or KOs. Now again, if you watch her, she's fun to watch. She has she has good technique. She just beat a. Tayami Lopez, remember a bulldog. If you haven't watched that, she peed herself. That was interesting, you know. Five and one since that hasn't fought since that loss back in 2024, February of 2024. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like Shannon Clark in in this matchup. I just think she does a lot of good work. She's more proven. Um, Dubin is a plus three three fifty underdog as we see right here. I just I just don't see her winning. Shannon Clark. All day. Here's an interesting one. It was supposed to be Tommy McMillan, I believe it was. Yeah, Tommy McMillan. It is no longer him. It is Dorian Ramahamos. Austin Bashy, 12 and 0. And let me tell you. Austin Bashy, 12 wins in a row, 22 years old, be 23. Seven finishes out of 12 wins. You know, he does have three first round finishes. He has a couple in the second, a couple, one in the third, one, three in the second, one in the third, and then uh, three in the first. But again, competition wise, is all right. 22 years old, 5'3 with seven finishes, 74 and 44 is upon his records. Now, here's the issues I have with him Bashy stays by the fence too much, striking defense not great. Doesn't um, doesn't shoot takedowns with setups, so he kind of shoots throws uh, shoots naked shots out there. Quick back take, really good head kicks, very very sneaky sneaky good head kicks. I really 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 like those head kicks. And he has a finish over Askar Askar, who's not the same guy from the UFC, but a decent fighter outside of the UFC 14 and 4 now 14 and 3 when he fought him definitely more experienced guy for sure as you see right here again he's just fought some pretty decent guys I mean if you look at it he, he's fun probably the best besides this 15 and 23 which is obviously not very good pretty good Dorian Hamos like I said oh yeah, yeah I said 30 years old 8 and 2 2 5 win streak 5 7 um I look at him, he has six finishes, only a few in the first one in the first round. This is a complicated one because, again, this guy, Dorian Hamos, 27 years old. Uh, oh, what's his name? Dorian Hamos, six first round finishes, yeah. If you look at it, decent competition. I wouldn't say great competition. 5 and 1 when he's 7 and 2, 6 and 2 when he's 6 and 1, 3 and 1 when he's 5 and 1. Decent. He has gone to a fifth round. That's good, good to see. I, I really like, uh, really, really like Austin Bashy in this matchup. I think he does a really, really good job in this one, especially in the grappling. Striking could get a little, give him a little bit of issue. That's, I believe, going to be his issue until he, until he freaking, uh, not until he fixes it, but it might also take him getting dropped once or twice to figure out that he needs to finish it. So that's interesting. And then next we have uh, Will Curry versus D D Jordan Santos. Will Curry. Now this guy is a ton of fun. You know, Will Curry, 25 years old, uh, 6'3", 10 finishes, uh, one TKO loss. And he has two losses against CLD, who is a pretty decent fighter. Very, very bad stoppage. Got caught with a flying knee, and then as he was going for a takedown, the referee stopped it. Very weird. Good control in the Mick fight. In the Mick, the loss that he has, which was a very controversial loss, decision loss that he had. He had some good, very, very good moments in that matchup. The Mick Stanton fight, whose record is not great. Um... The thing I do worry about with uh, with Will Curry is his ability to do stop takedowns. He is consistently letting fighters get in on his legs. He has very good scrambles. He's able to get back up. But in the UFC level, you're not going to be able to get back up. So 
I do like Will Curry. I think he's a decent, decent fighter for sure. The two losses against CLD at this point is just a very good experience. Since then, he's fought some decent competition. 11 and 3, 8 and 2. That's pretty dang good. And now he's fighting a guy who's 9 and 1. Now, I really like Will Curry. You go over to Jordan Santos, who's 9 and 1, 27 years old, four wins in a row, seven, seven finishes. Uh, last fight was 11, 24, 20, 22, and his opponent's record is 39 and 41. It's disgusting. Like, yeah, he's 9 and 1, but besides this record, who's Felipe Montino, Montino, who's 8 and 2, let's take a look at his, uh, his record. 8 and 1, 22 and 10, 12 and 6, 5 and 5, 4 and 2, 0 and 4, 0 and 1, 1 and 0. So these first five losses mean nothing because he's not fighting anybody good anybody in his first five fights only one fighter has one win it's one oh i'm sorry jesus five six seven five and seven opponent record in his first five fights wow but yeah i really like will curry i think he's able to create a lot of scrambles his striking is very good his distance control is very good as well again the takedown defense is a bit of an issue it does worry me but i like will curry a lot next we have uh, igor Cal calavante versus sayok high and co high and co is a plus 250 underdog uh, igor is a minus 335 i'm skipping up on the there no yeah 335 favorite 26 years old 511 with 79 eggs reach soyek han ko is a plus 250 and again as we see this is a weird one you look at igor who is like i said nine and oh 26 years old you know nine finishes all of his finishes a lot of them in the first all of them have been in the first yeah nine first round finishes nine wins he's fought nobody I mean, he, he's literally fought nobody his opponent's record combined record is 25 and 34. Nine first round finishes. I I just I I uh, I don't understand it. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. He hasn't fought anybody good. It's a bit of an issue. Now you go over to Ko or Koi, however you want to say it. You know, ten and two, six six finishes, four in the first round, has been finished twice by punches of course um and his two finishes are against decent fighters you know sasha Bonkov was in the ufc i believe he was for a little bit 35 years old he went one and two in the ufc his one win in the ufc i thought was good oh uh, lewis cosi that's what that was yeah because lewis cosi got gassed out uh, yep, i remember that one but uh hands hands so kim 11 and 4, he lost two in the first round, under a minute 30 seconds. I really like him in this matchup. I just I just think he has the better experience. And if you watch him, he has very, very good movement and very good striking. And I don't think Igor Kalavaganti has fought anybody that moves the way that so Hong Koi has. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.